What's up everybody, this is Mr. Tui. If you're looking for TSI essay practice, I'm here to help. Look, the TSI essay can be tricky if you don't know what you're doing. But in this video, I'm gonna guide you through step by step with an essay from the most recently released TSIA2 English Language Arts and Reading Practice Test. We're gonna practice understanding the question, we're gonna practice organizing your essay, and I'm gonna introduce you to my exclusive TSI essay formula, which makes writing the TSI essay so simple. Just plug your ideas right into the formula. It couldn't be easier. And if you find this video helpful, you're definitely gonna to wanna to get access to the full version of the course. You get all my videos on TSI reading, the TSI writing section, and the TSI essay, including the TSI essay formula document you see in this video, and some new TSI essay prompts so you can practice on your own. I got you through everything step by step. It couldn't be easier, guys. Just click the link in the description below to get access to the full course. In the meantime, sit back, relax, and enjoy some TSI essay practice. Thanks, guys. All right, welcome everybody to TSI English Language Arts and Reading Crash Course. This is uh, this is day five, <laughs> which is uh, we're going to be focusing on the TSI essay, which is the last part of the TSI English Language Arts and Reading test. And uh, I've got a prompt in front of us that's uh, straight from the College Board, the makers of the TSI. This is the most recent prompt um, for the essay that has been um, that's been released. So we're going to roll with this one here. Um, we've got, I've got Francisco with us today. So hi to, say hi to everybody, Francisco. Hello. <laughs> All right. Thank you, Francisco. <laughs> and um, so here's kind of my plan for the day. We're going to read over this prompt. We're going to discuss it. Make sure that you understand it. And then uh, we're going to outline this prompt. We're going to organize our ideas. And that's really where most of the work for this uh, TSI essay is going to be. It's in understanding the prompt and organizing your ideas. And then once you have that, the thing writes itself. Because I'm going to give you a TSI essay formula where you can just kind of plug in your ideas and organize them into like a four paragraph essay. But as long as you kind of know the formula and it's pretty straightforward, then you're just taking the ideas you've got and you're plugging them in and that's it. So I've tried to make this kind of as simple and straightforward as possible. One other thing, you know, that I, I just want to address here is that, you know, I've, I've had some students um, that I've taught who've taken the TSI and they've passed the essay portion with, with little preparation just because they got, they were really good at understanding the question and just answering the question. Um, you can pass it. If you just do that, understand the question and directly address it with your answer, you know, without any sort of fancy structure or anything like that. Now, I'm going to give you the structure you need if you want to get like the highest possible scores on the essay, which you should. You should want to do your best. And this is kind of a skill set that I think is going to transfer over to some uh, some of your other writing in any class that you've got. But um, but but the most important thing is understanding the question and just directly answering the question with uh, with your writing. So, Francisco, I've given you the links that you need. I would love to read this prompt together. And we're just going to discuss it and make sure that we're all on the same page here with, with understanding what's going on and what, uh, what the question is. Okay? All right. All right, so go ahead and read that uh, just below where it says passage because they start with a quotation from an author. All right. Uh, some people claim that each individual is solely responsible for what happens to him or her. But the claim that we ought to make absolute responsibility for the kinds of people we are and the kinds of lives we lead suggests that we have complete control of our lives. We do not. The circumstances of our lives can make it more or less impossible to make certain kinds of choices. Okay, that's adapted from Gordon D. Marino. I think you should be responsible. I'm not so sure. Okay. Did that passage make any sense, what you just read there, Francisco? Or did that kind of go over your head? <laughs> Yeah, I'm going to be honest. I, I, I appreciate that. I appreciate that. Well, let's talk about it a little bit. Let's, re let's start with that first sentence. Some people claim that each individual is solely responsible for what happens to him or her. Does that idea make sense? Yes. Like you are in charge of your life. You're responsible for what happens to you. That's it. Okay. Mm -hmm. And this is one of those things, by the way, we're like, we kind of go back to the, the reading section of the TSI. We're like, you know, we spent some time really like digesting text and slowing down. And if you find that you read something, you're like, I have no clue what I just, what I just read. Go sentence by sentence. Go paragraph by paragraph. Stop and reread. If you read something, it doesn't make sense. Go back. Chew on the language a little bit. You can figure it out. Let's look at that second sentence. But the claim that we ought to take absolute responsibility 
for the kinds of people we are and the kinds of lives we lead suggests that we have complete control over our lives. We do not. What is the author saying there in those two sentences I just read? Um, uh, basically, like, I think it's saying, like, we have control, we have responsibility over everything that we do. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's the way I see it. Um, he says, okay, but the claim that we ought to take absolute responsibility. Now, if you like just hyper focus on the words absolute responsibility, you might be like, oh, he's saying we should have absolute responsibility for our lives. But I don't think he's mm -hmm. saying that. He says, but the claim we ought to take, that we ought to take responsibility for the kinds of people we are and the kinds of lives we lead suggests that we have complete control over our lives. We do not. So I think there he's saying, we don't have complete control over our lives. We don't have absolute responsibility for the kinds of people we are and the kinds of lives we lead. Right? Because he follows up that statement. He, he does, he, he says, some people claim this, that we have absolute responsibility and that we have complete control. But then he says, we do not. We do not. Does that make sense? Yes. Okay. So you can't just kind of pick out a word here and there. You got to kind of read the whole thing to draw out the idea. And then read that last sentence for me one more time. The circumstances of our lives can make it more or less impossible to make certain kinds of choices. Ooh, what's he saying there? Uh, I think it's like, he's saying like, since we don't have absolute responsibility, that it's hard to make uh, the choices that we want to do. Yeah. Yeah. That's it. Absolutely. I mean, it makes sense, right? Like, if you grew up in, like, you know, rural Afghanistan or something like that, right? Maybe there's somebody here watching this video that grew up in rural Afghanistan. I don't know. It's very possible, you know. It's possible. But if you do, that's 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 going to be tough for that person to have the same kinds of opportunities that you and I have. It's going to be tough. They may not even have access to the Internet. They may or may not even be able to read. Maybe nobody taught them. Right? I know in parts of Afghanistan it's illegal for girls to go to school. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So I, I you know, there's some there's some truth to what this author is saying. The circumstances of our lives can make it more or less impossible to make certain kinds of choices. That makes some sense. Okay? We may or may not agree with it, but I want you to understand what the author is saying. And does it make sense now? Yeah, I got it. Okay, good. Now, here's the prompt. It says right below assignment. Okay, this is the prompt. This is the question we're answering here. And we got to understand the question. Go ahead and read that question for me. Are we free to make our own decisions or are we limited in the choices we can make? Ooh, are we free to make our own decisions? This is Honestly, this is such a great question, man. I, I really did not expect to enjoy preparing for this as much as I did. Um, but the the prompts that I've seen for the TSI, I really like them. These are big questions with some very interesting implications. Are we free to make our own decisions? Or are we limited in the choices we can make? Do you understand that question, Francisco? Yeah, I'm like, yeah. like, can we make, like, are we responsible for, like, all of our choices that we make or not? Basically? Yeah, yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Now, notice here, this is sort of a, there's two sides to this question, two possible answers. And you'll see this on pretty much um, all the prompts that I've seen. And we'll see some others later in the course. There's two answers. Either you believe we're free to make our own decisions, right? Or we're limited in the choices we can make. And it's kind of a one or the other deal, okay? Now, it's not to say, I mean, in some respects, both can be true. In fact, I do believe both are true. I do believe that. But I want you to be aware of the fact that there's really two answers to this question. There's two answers to every prompt I've seen for the TSI. There's two sides that you need to consider. And we have to consider both sides if we're going to write this thing well. Do you see the two sides, right? You, there's, there's one argument to make that we're free to make our own decisions. That's one argument. And the other argument is that we're limited in the choices we can make. We have to consider both. 
Mm. Okay. And that's what we're going to do. We're going to organize this in sort of an outline format. I'll show you what that looks like. And uh, we're going to answer both sides. We're going to consider the evidence for both sides. And then once we've done that, we're going to decide which side is more compelling. Which side has a better, is, it, is, is basically a better argument. If you believe we can argue better that it's, we're free to make our own decisions, then that's the argument we're going to make. That's the point we're going to make in our essay. If you believe we're more limited in the choices we make, if you think there's more compelling evidence for that, that's the argument that you're going to make. You're going to consider both sides. You're going to write about both sides. But you're going to pick one that you think is more compelling, that there's more evidence for. Does that make some sense? Yes. Okay, so let's do that right now. I sent you a link to a document that says TSI Essay Outline. Let's go to that. Okay. And notice I put the prompt right there at the top. There it is again. Are we free to make our own decisions, or are we limited in the choices we can make? So we're going to consider both sides. I'm going to start this, and I'm just going to start filling this out, okay? And I want to make, I'm going to, in one column, I'm going to label it, we're free to make our own decisions. And this is what you should be doing when you're preparing to write your essay. You should be outlining it like this. You're considering both sides. I say make two columns kind of like this, where you've clearly outlined the two sides in the argument. Oh, again, we'll do this. We'll do this with some other uh, another essay prompt as well, and you'll see that it's sort of this this two answers, two sides of every question. So one side says free to make our own decisions. We're going to consider the evidence for that, and the other side says we are limited in the choices we can make. Okay, now this is where the real work of preparing for this essay is. It's in understanding what the question is and kind of outlining your ideas. So I really just want to talk right now, Francisco. I think this is such a great question. I just want to talk and think a little bit together. What is your instinct, by the way? Do you think we are more free to make our own decisions or do you think we are more limited in the choices we can make? What is your instinct here? Because I'm going to start with, we'll start with one side over another. What do you think? What's your gut tell you? Yeah, I think, I think probably limited to the choices we can make. We're more limited to the choices we can make. So let's start there. Let's start there. I want to come up with some evidence for that. I want to come up with some reasons why you believe that we are more limited in the choices we can make. Now, that's your, you said that's your instinct. That's your answer, that we're more limited to the choices we can make. Why do you believe that? Uh, well... Yeah, I think like yeah, obviously you you have the you have the right to like choose whatever you want, but like I think to an extent. Mm -hmm. Um Yeah, because like there's definitely like there are definitely like things that that are literally illegal for you to do. <laughs> yeah, there are things that are I'm gonna I'm gonna write that down. There are things that are illegal. <laughs> That's so great. <laughs> right? You can't do that. You can't murder people, all right? It's a limited choice, right? There are times where you probably... I think we've all thought about that at times. Like, eh, maybe you could just get rid of them. <laughs> you can't do that. Not, let alone, like, you know, moral issues as well. Or spiritual issues. Yeah. But, like, there are things that are straight and legal, right? You can't steal. Mm. Right? You can't drink and drive. It's good. I, what's, that's why, I mean, technically you can physically do all those things. You certainly, certainly shouldn't. Yeah. Um. But there'd be consequences for that too, right? If we, if we did those things. But I agree, there's things that are illegal, right? That limits your choices if you're interested in following the law, which to some extent you should be, I hope. Yeah. Um, good, in what other ways are we limited in the choices we can make? This is good, this is a great start. Give me other ways we're limited. Um, um, I think like, um, I think like there are actual things that are actually not just things that you shouldn't do, but like things that are literally impossible to do. Like what? Absolutely. Ab give me examples. There are things that are like, impossible. Uh, people want to want to like get superpowers and everything. Yeah. Like, well, like no, it's literally impossible. <laughs> yeah, uh, you don't have superpowers, right? 
Um, you can't fly, right? Outside of being in a plane, I actually I wrote that down as well. That I can't fly <laughs> as a limit yeah. to the right. I did. I, I worked this outline out myself. Uh, you can't shoot laser beams. Did I spell laser right? I don't know. Out of your eyes, etc. I think I, sp I did spell laser wrong. Oh my gosh, that's what an S it is. Okay, there, there's all my spelling flaws for the, the whole world to see there. I, want, I really want to spell laser with a Z. Seems appropriate, but anyway. All right. Um, good. Any other ways in that our choices are limited? Um, you know, that's like the only two like big brainers that I got. Yeah, you want to come up with as much evidence as possible, especially if you're considering writing about, like, making this your point. Right. Oh, actually, yeah. There, are, and then there's also I don't know if this is the same thing as the first one, but like there's things that you can do, but it'll ruin your life. Ooh, ooh. Uh, sure. Yeah. There's I, I like it. There are things you can do that will ruin your life. Like kind of like we were talking about earlier about like the murdering people and stealing, right? Yeah. Because you're like, in jail. I would say like um, yeah, doing. Do, like Let's doing hard drugs, <laughs> yeah. right? Like, just don't do them. Just don't do them. Yeah, that's... <laughs> I mean, you can't, you know, you, physically you can do it, right? But, you know, and it's not just like the possibility of going to jail, but like people die from that sort of thing. And mm -hmm. I don't think you, you want to die. I don't recommend it. Not if you, yeah. yeah. But there's, that's interesting too, right? Which that, another thing is that you are going to die at some point. You can't live forever, Right? Right? Right. You got to deal with that. You can't press the button for, uh, you know, I'm mean, heading to spiritual territory. I was going to say eternal, you know, eternal life, but you, on this earth oh. at least. And you can't, you can't not pay your bills or anything. Yeah. Yeah. You have to pay bills. Ta I'm going to add taxes. Ah. <laughs> right, that's that was the famous line, right? That the the there are two things in life that are inevitable: death and taxes. Right, two things that are unavoidable. Yeah, yeah. there's a lot. And we're limited. Things you have to do, you don't have a choice about. Anything else? That's all I got. That's that's a good start. I had a, I've got some other ideas. I'm just gonna discuss because I, I want to write this, but this is. We're gonna write your essay, but I've got some other things. I I added that I can't be an NBA player, right? It's not gonna happen. Uh, mm -hmm. It's just not gonna happen. <laughs> I'm not gonna be an NFL lineman. Not gonna happen, right? I don't have the 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 physique or the talent for either of those things. And I'm 40 years old too, so it's a little bit pat I mean, slightly past my physical prime, perhaps. Um, right? You don't you don't choose uh, the family you're born into. Mm -hmm. Right? You didn't choose that, Francisco, for better or worse. Right? You didn't choose that. Uh, you didn't choose the time period that you're born in. Right? Right. Uh, we can't fly. I think we discussed that, right? You can't violate the laws of physics, right? You can't walk through walls unless you walk through a door. That doesn't count. We talk, like, just you can't physically, like, melt through a wall, as awesome as that would be. Right? Yeah, you can't walk, you can't walk on water. Right? Yeah, you can't walk on water, right? Unless you're Jesus. Uh, <laughs> right? Like, you just can't, like, <laughs> you're going to be affected by gravity. You just, uh, you wouldn't have a choice there. I think that's, that, that covers most of it. There's some overlap between what you wrote and what I wrote. That's a very good start. I mean, you don't need a, ton, you know, we've got a list of five things. That's pretty good. I think we could already, do you already see a paragraph forming there from what we have? Yeah. Do you already I see that? So. Right? And again, re right here, once you have the ideas down, then the thing kind of writes itself. Right? We're going to have a paragraph that's addressing the evidence that we're limited in the choices we can make. It's going to happen. That's already almost written. Right? You just got to flesh it out a little bit and turn it into sentences, but that's not complicated. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. Let's consider the evidence that we're free to make our own decisions. Because there's some evidence for that, whether you agree with that statement more or not. There's some evidence for it. How are you free to make your own decisions? In what ways are you free to make your own decisions? What are some examples of ways you're free to make your own decisions? Like your 
You're free to choose wherever you want to go to when you drive. Yeah. Yeah. You are free. Increase the size here a little bit. You are free to drive anywhere. <laughs> right? Freedom of movement. Which is cool. Like, if you want to get in the car right now and drive to Mexico, you could do it. Isn't that cool? Yeah. Like, you could just be like, Miss Tui, I gotta go. <laughs> it's been real. <laughs> I just gotta, I gotta get to Mexico. <laughs> right? Or Canada. You could go to Canada. That's, it's cold up there. But yeah. uh, I don't recommend it. <laughs> but you could go anywhere. If you wanted to keep driving, you want to drive to Panama. I think you could do it. I think you could drive to Panama. I'm fairly certain. Heck, you could walk there. I, I taught a student once who literally walked from El Salvador to the United States. Walked here. Amazing. Right? That's cool. That kind of freedom. We can, li we can live anywhere, man. Right? If you want to move to Thailand, I know people that have. <laughs> right? They do some like work on the internet. And they're just like, ah, I can live cheap in Thailand. It's nice there. It's pretty there. I'm going to go. You can do that. Mm. All right. There's some steps you got to go along the way, right? There's some things you got to do. It doesn't, just because you desire something doesn't mean it's going to happen. You got to take action. And that's kind of a life lesson in general. Right. Right. It doesn't happen instantaneously. But if you want to, if you want to live in Eastern Europe, I've thought about it. <laughs> you can do it. That's cool. I don't think you can go to North Korea, though. I don't recommend that. I think that's. There might be some limits there, right? We can put that in the the limits. You can't get. I don't think they let you in to North Korea right now. The communist country. You don't. You don't want to go there. Um. But anyway. All right. So, any other ways that you're free to make your own decisions? Uh, you're free to watch whatever movie you want to. Yeah. Heck yeah. For better or worse. Yes. <laughs> you're free to watch whatever. Right. Especially if you're, you know, when you're out of the house. Right. Some people watch this recording. Maybe living at home with parents. So it may not be. One of the things I remember I was so excited about going off to college. I was like, oh, man, I can watch whatever I want to on TV. I was super excited about that. <laughs> Way too excited about that. Uh, for whatever you want to watch. I think I put something like this on my list as well. Um, which is like the media that we consume, right? Like nobody's forcing you to watch the news. Nobody's forcing you to read any newspaper or article, I don't know, nobody reads newspapers these days, but, you know, whatever website on the internet where you consume your news. But, like, we choose what we consume, for better or worse, once again. Right. We choose what we consume. And it's interesting, too. I mean, this has little to do with the TSI, but I think it's just interesting, right, is that, like, we can consume news that just, like, bums us out all day long. It's amazing that people, I used to do it, gosh, that's maybe that's where I, I can relate. I used to read a lot of, like, <laughs> news that was just a bummer. And when I cut that out, my life improved a lot. Not because the world changed, but it's just like the human brain was not designed to just like read about all the worst things happening in the world all the time. You know, yeah. I, you know, we can do it. We're free to do that, right? For better or worse, again, we're free to do that. But my life improved dramatically and my mental health improved dramatically <laughs> when I stopped paying close attention to the news. What else? What else are we free to do? You know, a perfect example I, I thought was like the, the Bill of Rights, like freedom of speech and like freedom of, you know, you can own a gun. and you know, Yeah, uh, yeah, so. yeah. Heck yeah. You're free. Freedom of speech for now. <laughs> for now. We'll see how long that lasts. Right. You can say whatever you want to say. Right. Now, interestingly, I have to address the fact that it's not. Perfect freedom, right? You can't, I think the famous example is you can't yell fire in a theater. Did you know this? Is this a, I don't know if this is, nobody goes to theaters these days, right? We just stream, stream on YouTube or whatever. But uh, like you're doing now, those of you watching the recording. But um, uh, like if you yell that there's a fire in a theater, right? It could cause like a panic and people could get crushed. Are you aware of this this thing? That you can't yell right. that there's a fire in a theater, right? Unless there's a fire, then you can yell it, right? I guess, but... Or maybe calmly be like, oh, I believe there's a fire. We should single file, kind of get out of here. But um, but there's limits, right? You can't you can't like incite violence. We can't be like, hey, let's go, you know, 
Do something yeah, really, like, truly yeah. horrible and violent right now. Come on, you know. Yeah, which is like what the second uh, prompt is saying. Right, yeah, and that that's evidence for the second. Exactly, that's evidence, more evidence, right, for for the second one, right, that we're limited in the choice we can make. Yeah, we have freedom of speech, but there's limits on that too, right? Isn't that interesting? There's nuance here. When I say there's nuance, like, there's not one clear answer. There's not. And that's okay, because there's evidence for both, and we're going to write about both perspectives here. Okay. Um, we said freedom of speech. Oh, free, you have freedom to own a gun. Freedom to, you know, especially if you're here in Texas, right? We like our guns, right? <laughs> freedom to own a gun, right? There's also limits on that, though, too, right? Let's you can't own a machine gun, I think, or like you have to have like a real special permit to do that. Um, yeah. I've never looked into it, but uh, <laughs> um, but there's limits on that too. I, I don't know about like bazookas and missile launchers, how. Right, I, I don't know about the legal status of those things. You can't own a nuclear weapon. I'm pretty sure that's not a gun. But anyway. yeah. there's limits on it. Yeah, on all these and every single one of these. Right, I can't drive to Hawaii. Right, I can't drive to Hawaii. I can't watch shows that don't exist. Right, I mean, like that's that's a limit. Um, any other ways though that we're free to make our own decisions? Uh, you're free. You're free to vote for whoever you want to. Yeah. Yeah. Free. Well, are we? <laughs> I guess, yeah, 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 yeah. You can, I mean, they usually give us two choices. Mm -hmm. The powers that be. Actually, you can write in anyone. So I'm going to say, yeah, we're free to vote. For whoever. More or less. For right now. We'll see how long that lasts. <laughs> for better or worse, we have the freedom to vote. I go back and forth on the democracy thing. Good. Anything else? Um, you're free to like go whatever restaurant you want to go to. Yeah, yeah. Free to go to whatever restaurant. Ooh, don't make me spell restaurant. Oh, I did it. Yes. Uh, <laughs> wants <to> go to. <laughs> um, good. Oh, our diet, man. Our diet. We get to choose what we eat, right? You want to be vegan? And eat, like, all the plants? Great. You can eat all the plants. Right? You want to go carnivore and eat all the meat? Great. Go carnivore. Eat all the meat. You want to, you want to do both? You want to be an omnivore? Great. Eat it all. <laughs> you can do it. You eat, literally eat whatever you want to eat. It's amazing. We forget that, right? We just kind of do it like, oh, it's there. I eat, right? But, like, we can do whatever. We got, you know, you can eat pretty much anything. For better or worse, we have that freedom. I'm going to tell, um, that's a, this is a good list. This is a good list. Um, uh, here's what I've got. I've got, I choose that what I'm doing at this moment, right? I'm recording this session with you, man. I, ch I chose that. Um, I, we can, you can choose what you're writing or what you're saying at any moment. We're both doing it. I'm making choices right now. Free choices for better or worse. Um, we can choose your career. You can choose your spouse, right? Or girlfriend or boyfriend or whatever, right? Mm -hmm. um, uh, you can choose where to work. I think we discussed that. Um, or where you want to live. You can choose your friends. We forget that too, right? Because a lot of times like, we just have our friends. But like, nah, you can choose your friends. You hang out with yeah. a group of people that you don't like or that bring you down or they're just negative. Like, you, know, you choose different friends. Choose better friends. You get to spend time with whoever you want to spend time with. Yeah. Um, choose the information in the media. Yep, and we discussed that, right? And diet is also what I added. There's a whole bunch of stuff we're free to do. Okay. All right, let's stop for just a minute. Let's stop. This is a very, very good list. Two good lists. Okay. Here's my question. Well, first of all, do you do you start? Do you see where this essay is going? Like, do you see how we've got two solid paragraphs here already? Yeah. Like already written almost. Again, we got to write the sentences, but like whatever. It's not complicated. There are, some of these are sentences here already. Um but here's my question. After considering both sides, 
What do you think is more compelling? Do you think we are more free to make our own decisions or do you think we are more limited in the choices we can make? I still think that the second one. We are more, great, great. Then let's do that. We're gonna make this our, argu our argument. Okay, and I'm gonna label that as such. Argument. Okay, this is our argument. And the other side, I'm gonna call it the counter argument. The counter argument, okay? kind of a English term, the counter argument, but counter just means against. So right. this is right, you know, like in Spanish, contra means against, right? So the counter argument is the argument against the argument. <laughs> okay, the counter argument. And this is important as you're writing this essay, especially the way that I organize it. Whichever side you think is more compelling, and here we think the argument, more compelling is that we are limited in the choices we can make. So we're going to make that our main point in the essay. But we also have to recognize the other side, the counter argument. We have to recognize that we are free in some ways. Okay? And we're going to write about that too. You have any questions at the moment? Uh, no. Okay. Here's what I want you to do now. I want you to go to the um, the TSI essay uh, formula document. Okay. Okay. Are you there? Yeah. And there's what? Well. Okay. Once you've done this work of the outline, it's just a question of plugging this stuff in into the TSI essay formula that I've given you. If you're watching this recording, if you purchase the course, um, you're going to have access to this. And uh, the, the essay formula that I've got is a simple four-paragraph essay. I'm going to kind of give you the outline right now, what it's going to look like. And then, um, and then we're going to practice creating an essay using this formula. So, um, so let's step back for just a minute. I'm going to show you the structure of this thing. So there's four paragraphs. The first paragraph is the introduction paragraph right, or introductory paragraph. And there you're going to introduce the topic. That's the first point. You have a sentence introducing the topic. Um, you're going to address the quotation in the passage. And I've got, a, again, a formula you can follow here as you address um, the quotation in the passage. And then you're going to include your thesis. Your thesis is your point, your main point, where you address the counter argument, and then you make your argument and give some reasons for it. Okay, and we're going to go over this in detail um, here in just a moment, but again, I want to just kind of give you the rough outline of what it's going to look like. You may have heard that term thesis before. It's just your main point, okay? So, but we're going to address both the counter argument and the argument in our thesis using the structure I give you. The second paragraph is the counter argument paragraph. We're going to actually start right our first body paragraph, which is the second paragraph in this essay, is the counter argument paragraph. It always makes sense, I think, to start with your counter argument, like recognize the other side first, okay, before you get into your argument. If you end with the if you end with the counter argument instead of your argument, you're kind of like undermining, you're weakening your argument with some other points, right? So start with the other side, start with the other points. That's why I like starting with the counter argument. And that's real straightforward. You're going to begin the counter argument with restating the counter argument, whatever it is, and then list your evidence. That's the writing of that paragraph. That's it. It's just you're just listing your evidence out. Okay, and we've already got that written out. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. Then we we'll go to the argument paragraph. I'm going to zoom in just a little bit. Where you restate your thesis, restate the whole thing. You can even mention the counter argument. That's at least the formula I've got. And then list the evidence for your argument. And we've already got that all worked out from our outline. By the way, they do on the TSI. They do give you. You can, you can request. They might give it to you. I don't know. But you can request uh, scratch paper, which I recommend. Kind of doing, you know, building those two columns that we built there. If you have to type it out for some reason, they don't have scratch paper. Or whatever, you can you know, find some place to type it out on the screen or whatever. But you should be should have access to scratch paper. And then, lastly, is uh, the conclusion paragraph, where you're just restating your thesis using some different wording, if possible. And and that's it. The um, the requirement for the essay it's got to be th between 300 and 600 words. So if you're below the 300 word minimum. 
then you can just add some extra final thoughts there in the conclusion if you need to. But I think if you flesh things out and you're out wide enough, you're gonna you're not gonna have any trouble hitting the 300 word minimum. In fact, I might be worried. You know, some students are gonna go over the 600 word maximum, but uh, right. you should have a word count there. You know, that you can kind of track what you're doing and see how much you need to add or get rid of. But make sure that you're within between 300 and 600 words. So let's start. Let's start with the um, the introduction paragraph. We're going to start there, and we're going to write the thesis here in just a minute. But I'm going to go to the first bullet point, and we're going to do this step by step here. Notice the um, the introduction paragraph says, "Introduce." You're going to introduce the topic, okay? And because the prompts always have these two sides, it'll probably be structured something like this. If there's another way to do it, depending on the prompt, but from what I've seen, you can always do something like this. Some people think blank, and other people think blank. You can do something like that. So do you see the example that I, that I include there? Uh, is it going to be although counter-argumental? Oh, that's, that's for the thesis. But I'm here on, on introduce the topic. Some people think oh, okay, yeah. we're free to make our own choices. Do you see that now? Yeah. Okay. I'm just going to copy that for right now. And we're going to write, let's write this thing below the, on the, the TSI outline document. Dense. Okay. Yeah, for our thesis, we have to. Yeah, we'll, <laughs> yeah, we'll, 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 we'll create that thesis here in just a minute. But here's the, the first sentence, I think, in that introductory paragraph, very simply. Some people think we're free to make our own choices. Other people think we are limited in the choices we make. Okay, I've just sort of introduced the topic of, of, uh, of the essay. Does that make sense? How I've done that there. Yeah. I mean, and you may see another, uh, you know, another prompt and you got to introduce it kind of in another way. Um, I've got another, let me see, I think I've got another prompt here and then I'll probably address this later here in the course. There's another prompt that says, can any obstacle or disadvantage be turned into something good? Okay. And you can already kind of see how you could kind of structure introducing that, that prompt. You could say, some people think any obstacle or disadvantage can be turned to something good. Other people think that obstacles or disadvantages can be insurmountable, can't be overcome. Great. Just kind of introduce the topic, whatever it is. Don't complicate it. Keep it simple. Some people think this, other people think that. It's a good way to start it. Okay. The next part says, address the quotation in the passage. I'm in the second bullet point in the introductory paragraph on the TSI essay formula. Address the quotation in the passage by identifying the author's main point. Okay, I think you should address uh, address the prompt or address the quotation in the passage in some way. And uh, you don't have to do it. I recommend it. I recommend it though. Um, and here is the example I give. And this is I'm just going to plug this all in. Going to do some formatting here. Do you see where I am below the outline, by the way? I'm kind of writing this thing right now. Do you see where I am or no? Yeah. Okay. And there I say, uh, author Gordon D. Marino, that's the dude that, that, that wrote the quotation before the prompt, right? Author Gordon D. Marino says, we have little control over our choices. He says, the circumstances of our lives make it more or less impossible to make certain kinds of choices. So I just introduce kind of what he says as well. Does this make sense so far as far as the introductory paragraph goes? Yeah, it doesn't. What questions do you have at the moment? Uh, no, I don't have anything right now. I'm just was reading them. Okay, so you're going to introduce the topic, and again, you can follow the formula I give you. Some people think this, other people think that. And then introduce the quotation, the passage. All the prompts I've seen have a quotation that kind of introduces the prompt, so kind of address what that author says. This guy says this. <laughs> right, that's it. Okay. Now, we're going to talk about what you believe, and that's the thesis. Okay? Now, I want you to look closely at that thesis formula. Okay. 
I really recommend starting the thesis with the word although. Although. Because you're going to address your counter argument first in the thesis. Okay. Now I, I've got an example here on the TSI uh, on the TSI um, essay formula. This is going to be different from the one that that we're writing now <laughs> because you picked a different counter argument and argument. If I were writing this, I'd argue we have more freedom. I'd argue we have more freedom. Okay. But again, you can pick whatever side you want. Okay. Um, so, so although the counter argument, whatever the counter argument is, I believe, you know, and then you explain the argument for some reasons. Okay. So I'm going to write a different one from the example that's there on the outline here, because you're, you're, we're writing this thing together and I want to use your ideas, not mine. Okay. So I just want to show you there's some flexibility in how you write this thing, but always start with, although the counter argument, comma, I believe, and then explain your argument because for some reasons. So let's write this thing together. Your counter argument is that we're free to make our own decisions. We decide that was the counter argument, not the argument. Does that make sense? Okay. Yeah. So let's write this thing together. Although uh, we are free to make some decisions, some decisions, right? Okay. Although we're free to make some decisions, I've literally just paste you know, almost copy and pasted not literally but almost copy and pasted the uh, the counter argument as, as written up here although we are free to make some decisions I believe I'm just following the formula here I believe that and then we're going to type your argument we are more limited in the choices we can make are more limited in the choices we can make for some reasons okay now why do you believe we are more limited than choices we can make uh because like like obviously uh, we have we're free to make the choices that we make but it's it's to an, <laughs> to an extent yeah yeah like, it's really, yeah, man, it's just like the things I brought up earlier. Like there are things that are just illegal or just flat out impossible to do. Yeah, yeah. Because, and, and that's what you can just say, because there are so many more things that are simply illegal or impossible to do. That's good enough. But I want you to notice how that thesis, this is our thesis, how it follows the formula. Although the counter argument, right? Although the counter argument right here, although we're free to make some decisions. And then we get into your argument. I believe we are more limited the choice we can make. There's your argument. Because some reasons. And you gave me some reasons. Great. We're going to explain those reasons in more detail in the body paragraphs. But that's a solid thesis. And we're just following the formula. Although the counter argument, I believe the argument because of some reasons. That's a really good looking thesis. I want you to read the introductory paragraph as we have it right now. And again, we're just here. We're just following, we're just following the formula that I've written out and just plugging stuff in. Some people think this, while well, other people think this. This author says this, and then just tell me what his main point is, and then your thesis. And we have an introductory paragraph. Go ahead and read it for us, uh, loud and proud, please. All right. Some people think that we, some people think we are free to make our own choices. Other people think that we are limited in the choices we make. Author Gordon D. Marino says that we have little control over our choices. He says the circumstances of our lives make it more or less impossible to make certain kinds of choices. 
Although we are free to make some decisions, I believe that we are more limited in the choices we can make because there are so many more things that are simply illegal or impossible to do. Okay, great. Any questions about that so far? Um, actually, is it, like, you're sure you're allowed to put, like, I believe on there? I mean, um... I would. I would. I mean, you could say, I see you were saying, like, you've heard English teachers say, um, never say I in an essay. Is that what you're thinking? Yeah. Yeah. Um, I would do it. I would do it. I mean, let me look at the prompt. Uh, that's a, that's a great question, dude. Because I'm reconsidering it now as well. <laughs> I would. I would. Are we free to make our own decisions or are we limited to the choices we can make? I mean, if you'd rather write it, if you'd rather say, although we're free to make some decisions, very simply, we are more limited in the choices we can make, you can do that. I mean, I'm fine with either one. I mean, if you, you can do that. Both. You can do that. Um, I guess I've done enough reading of like the passages they give you on the TSI and on the SAT and stuff like that. Where the author, the author directly says, I. I've even seen the author directly address the reader as you. Which you're never supposed to do in an essay as well. Mm. I think the ideas are much more important. The ideas are much more important. I wouldn't worry about that. I'm going to leave it for now. I'm going to leave it. But if, you, if, you, if you're not, if, if you feel like you're violating some grammar rule, if you believe you're not free to say I believe... <laughs> then uh, uh, I'll leave that up to you. Then you don't have to. You can just jump right into the argument, right? Go, go. although we're free to make some decisions, comma, right? There's the counter argument, then the argument. We are more limited in the choice we can make. You don't have to say, I believe. Mm-hmm. But I put that in the formula, so I'm going I'm to leave it right there. And I think I like, I, here's why I like it. I like it because it makes it clear that that's your argument. It makes it really clear. Mm-hmm. So I'm going to keep it. You can add it or not. That's fine. And this formula doesn't have to, I mean, you don't have to, like, if you want to, you know, pass the TSI, you know, essay, like, you know, there may be other ways to do it. <laughs> you know, if, 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 you know, the ideas are much more important and the organization of the ideas. I'm not worried about little stylistic things. It's just not that important. Okay. Um, all right, so let's take a look at the next step in the um, TSI essay formula. So we finished the introductory paragraph, and again, we just followed that formula. Some people think this, other people think that. Depending on the prompt, you may have a better way to introduce it. I'll leave that up to you, but from the ones I've seen, you can kind of organize it that way. Then introduce the, the author's main point after that. This author says this, right? It's going to be addressing the prompt, so it's gonna, I think it's going to fit nicely in that introductory paragraph. And then jump right into your thesis, fall in that. Although the counter argument, I believe the argument because of some reasons. If you do that, you've got a good, solid introductory paragraph. The second paragraph is the counter argument paragraph. Okay? Now, if you're there on the TSI essay outline document, you should see that it says begin the counter argument paragraph by restating the counter argument. Okay? By restating the counter argument. So we don't even have to think here, we're just plugging this in. What's the counter argument here that you've chosen? What's the counter argument? That um, that we're free to make our own decisions. Yeah, we're free to make our own decisions. So I would I would address that. So we can say this here, and 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 you know you don't think that we're mostly free. You think we're only partially free, right? So you could say, in some ways, in some ways, we are free to make our own decisions. All right. All right I'm going to do, do it this way because I, I want to start with free micro decisions in some ways. Okay? Doesn't matter either way. We're free micro decisions. We could say we're free micro decisions uh, in, to a limited extent. If you want to say that, you could say that too. You've got some freedom here. You do have some freedom here. I've given you the formula to make it easy, not to not to hold you back. Far from it. Right? If you want to word it differently, you can word it slightly differently. 
however you want to word it. But you've got to state the counter argument some way. Is that clear that we're just restating the counter argument with that yes. first sentence? And that's our topic sentence. Now that we've done this, all we got to do is just list the ways that we're free that we've already done. Okay. Do you think you could start writing this and I'll, I'll kind of help you out here? Uh, and I'll kind of sure. guide you through it. Yeah. Okay. All right. So you just to go point by point and just fill that paragraph out. <laughs> Now, I wouldn't just, I wouldn't list everything in one sentence, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I mean, you could, right? So we've got, you know, you're, you're listing some activities here, which is good. So list the activities. Yep. Okay. Oh, gr grammar check has, I'm just going to ignore this for right now. Um, what else? This is good. And you see, by the way, like if you need more words for whatever reason to hit that like 300 word minimum, you could describe in more detail about all the places you could go to, right? You could talk about all the movies you wanted to watch. You could talk about <laughs> if you want to go there. Talk about all the people you want to vote for <laughs> or not vote for, as the case may be. Right? I mean, you could, yeah. Now here, don't forget, you want to start, if you're starting a new sentence, you want to start with a capital letter. I just want to remind you there. Yeah, I was confused. Like, I don't know if et cetera, count as a... Yeah, I would, you could end the, end the... Yeah, that's the end of a sentence. So start a new sentence. Oh, I love it. I love the I love the fact you're addressing the nuance here, right? Even though we've got all these ways that you're free, there's still limits to it. I love it. Now hold on, hold on, just a second, just a second. It looks like you're going, you're going into the argument paragraph here. You know what I'm saying? Save all that ammunition, as it were, for the argument paragraph. The ways were limited. I mean, like, like. The, I see, I see what's going on there. I was gonna, I was suggesting that, like, even when you're talking about the places you're gonna drive to, there's limits to that, right? That's okay. Save the the evidence for that were limited choices we can make. Save all that stuff for the argument. That's going to be another paragraph. All right. Okay. So maybe say like, however, uh, even we're, you know, um, there are even limits to where you can drive, right? You can't drive to North Korea or Hawaii as we addressed. And, you know, we only get two, <laughs> two choices. From, we only have two political parties. For I know there's Green Party too. You know, there's, you know, you could get into detail there too, but let's, yeah. I think we should, I think we should keep, 
I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna hold, I'm gonna stop for just a minute. Let's just keep describing the things on the list of evidence that we can make our own decisions. We ha we haven't talked about freedom of speech yet. We haven't talked about freedom to own a weapon, going to a restaurant, living and working wherever you want to live and work, you know that sort of thing. Does that make sense? So it, maybe if you maybe you can talk about the limits even on those freedoms toward the end. I'm just gonna get rid of this right now. Let's just keep working on the other, on the other stuff here. Um, you know, you can say there are other ways that we're free to make our own decisions, right? And then give me some of the other things. I'm going to turn this uh, there into a capital letter. Remember, when you're starting a new sentence, you always need to uh, start with a capital letter. Good. This last part here where it says, however, everything has its limits. I would make that a new sentence. Okay. So I'm going to start that with a capital letter. Just be on the lookout for that. If, it, if the statement can kind of stand on its own, it should be its own sentence, right? And you can say, however, everything has its own limits. I'm going to add a comma there as well. However, take a pause. Everything has its limits. Are we missing anything else for that, that body paragraph? Uh, I think we just listed off pretty much everything. Uh, you can own a gun. I just want to make sure we have enough to meet the 300 word minimum. You know what I'm saying? So I say put everything in there. So before, before, however, everything has its limits. I'm going to add this. Uh, you can also own a gun. You also have the freedom. Freedom to own a gun. In this country, at least. And in the state. All right. I think that's Actually, everything you listed. What's that? Did we talk about freedom of speech? No. I actually hear something like yeah, even, even, uh, even. Ooh, I love it. Ooh, bring in the Bill of Rights, dude. I love it. Ooh, I love it. Great. Well, we said choices both twice, so. How, how is the choice? It's a choice, period. Yeah, just end it there. Tell me in what in what ways do those things have have limits, right? You can't, right? I think hate speech is, is illegal. Mm -hmm. Right, whatever that is exactly. <laughs> Lots of debate about that. Not going to wade into those waters, right? You can't own a machine gun, or you know, even these freedoms have limits, right? You could get into more detail about that if you wanted to. Yeah. Let's see where we're at. Let's let's work in the other paragraph. If we need to flesh this out a little bit more, we'll come back to it. All Does right. that make sense? If we need to, if you're above the three hundred word minimum, then we're we're good, but if we need to flesh it out, you, but you see how we can flesh it out more. We could talk about how, yeah. right, the, you know, some things you can't say, some weapons you can't own <laughs> legally. Right? But, uh, okay, but I like you bringing the Bill of Rights. I think that's nice. Okay, great. Let's go back to the formula. Well, so look, we've got, go, let, I want to read this paragraph, actually. I just want to hear how it sounds. Because I think you should, and you should, you should do this as you're writing it. Stop and, and read what you got, just to see how it, see how it sounds, and you'll know if you're on the right track or not. Go and read it for me. Right. Um, Take it from we are free. free. To make our own hmm? Go ahead. I'm sorry. Yep. We are free to make our own decisions in some ways. We can do a lot of activities such as driving to wherever place we want to go to, watching a certain movie, vote for whoever you choose, etc. 
There are other ways, such as voting and deciding on which restaurant you choose to go, which is obviously a choice. Which is obviously a choice as well. I'm gonna stop real quick. Is there anything you'd change there in what you what you wrote? I might add, I think that sounded a little bit weird when you said, and decide which restaurant you choose to go. I want to add two there. Which restaurant you choose to go to. Right. And then you said driving to whatever place you want to go to, watching a certain movie, and I'm going to say voting for whoever you choose. Right. I think it sounds a little bit better if we add that ING ending, because we've got an ING ending on driving and watching and voting. I think it makes sense to kind of follow that pattern. Does that make sense? Yeah, all right, I got you. Um, not a big, not a big deal. But if you, as you're reading this, if, you, if anything sounds weird, fix it. Fix it. Sometimes when we're writing, like we don't catch it because we're just kind of putting our thoughts down. But when you step back and reread it and hear it, you're like, oh, that sounds off. Well, change it. Change it the way that you think make it sounds better. It, it make it, change it <laughs> to a way that you think sounds better. Okay. All right. So. We are free to make our own decisions uh, in some ways. We can do a lot of activities such as driving to a place you want to go to, watching a certain movie, voting for whoever you choose, etc. There are also there are other ways such as voting and deciding on which restaurant you choose to go to. Ah, I know. Obviously, well. didn't we? Uh, we already got voting, right? Uh, we already got voting. You're voting for whoever you choose, right? And we add vote. Mention voting again. So I'm just going to say such as deciding. We'll just get rid of the voting thing there because we've already got that. Okay. Such as deciding on which country you choose to go to, which is obviously just not right. Even the Bill of Rights, such as freedom of speech and right to bear arms, is a choice. However, everything has its limits. I like that you added that, right, because that's going to lead us really nicely into the counter argument, which is all about the limits. Right? You don't have to have a sentence like that at the end of your counter argument paragraph, you know, but I like it. So we're going to keep it. All right, any questions about that our, uh, counter-argument paragraph? That's good. Okay, I think it's good. Let's go to the argument paragraph. Now, notice in the essay formula here, so we've got part two done. Um, in the argument paragraph, you're just restating your thesis. Literally, you could copy and paste if you wanted to. Although the counter-argument, I believe the argument because reasons. Um, if you'd rather rephrase it a little bit, you can. But let's do that. I'm going to start it. So although we're addressing your counter-argument first, although we are free to make some decisions, well, that's our counter-argument. I believe that, and then we get into our argument, we are more uh, limited in the choices we can make. Because why? Because basically the... Yeah, pretty much the... Oh, because uh, there are there are decisions or choices that are that are either illegal to do or just flat out impossible. Oh, that's right, yeah. So you could copy that if you want to. I feel like kind of rephrasing it a little bit right now um, uh, because, uh, do I? Well, no, I'm, I'm gonna copy it. I'm gonna keep it simple <laughs> because so many things are illegal or impossible. Or you could say physically impossible. I'd love it, beautiful. Yeah, I, I recommend um, probably rephrasing it a little bit because I think they're, they're, this is going to go through like a a text analysis, like computer text analysis, and I'm, I'm guessing they would they would like to see a little a little rephrasing. Yeah. Okay. Um, good, but that's basically still the, that's still the thesis, basically, right? Do you see that? Yeah. I mean rephrase slightly but there's your counter argument although counter argument I believe the argument and then some reasons just rephrase slightly let's list 
the reasons now. And I want same thing. I want you to write this. Just go and start writing it out. You can flesh it out as much as you want to. Talk about the things that are illegal. Talk about the things that are impossible. Talk about things that can ruin your life. <laughs> right. <laughs> that you can't do. Can't live forever. And you don't have a choice about taxes or death. Or bills. <laughs> all right. And you want to include everything? Yeah, I say throw it all right. And you should. Pro- it's probably a good idea if you have more evidence for your argument, right? Like it would stink if you just like you listed all these things you're free to do, and you only have one or two things you can't do, right? <laughs> one or two mm-hmm. things you're limited in. So list it all. Do you mean we can't do? Or are you going physically? Okay, I see. I see what you're saying. Yeah, there's a whole lot, whole list of things. Oh my gosh. limits good and I like how you're taking those bullet points that we had and kind of like you are fleshing it out you're turning it into some nice sentences here again we got to hit that 300 word minimum so I don't want to just like filled with fluff I want it to be your ideas but just express those ideas fully Oh, evade, evade, with an E. Mm-hmm. Yeah, invade would be like to invade a country. Hopefully you're not invading anyone or anything. Yeah, or evading things for that matter, too, I guess. All right. Neither's great, but. Do you see how this thing kind of writes itself once you've organized it, like we did? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you got to put the sentences together, but you're doing it. Great.
Looking good, looking good. I'm going to add an S here to movies that you see in the movies, plural. I guess we would have caught that, actually, if we read it. But. Looking good, this is looking good. Excellent. Have we covered it all? I think we did. Yeah. I think we did. Excellent. Let's read that paragraph. I want to hear it. And let's see. I want you to see if you can catch anything that sounds off. Take from the start. Okay. Although we are free to make first, to make some decisions, I believe that we are more limited in the choices we make because so many things are... I'm going to say... Either. Good. Either you, I love it. Yeah, either illegal or physically impossible. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. You're right. It sounds better. You're absolutely right. Let's keep going. Yeah. We can physically do the things that are against the law, such as drinking, driving, murder, and running stores, but all of those are very. are very. Yeah. I think it's okay. Are very illegal, which can cost <laughs> you many years in prison or even your life. We unfortunately you have to pay bills and pay your taxes or else you wouldn't be able to live a happy life if you decide to evade those things. The powers that you see in the movies such as super speed or no, I'm just gonna see you see it in superhero such as super speed flying or all the other stuff that uh, well, Uh, it was just flat out impossible and unfortunately cannot be obtained from reality. And obviously being immortal is also impossible and everyone is going to die at some point. So that is a very big reason why your choices are limited. Okay. Good. I don't think I would change much. Excellent. Let's do this. So, we, dude, we've got three paragraphs. I want to go back to the formula real quick. So we've got our introductory paragraph. We followed that formula. We've got our counter argument paragraph. We've got our argument paragraph. Can we just listed all that stuff? And you did a really, really nice job of going from the list to like fleshing it out. Great job there. Let's go to our conclusion. And in conclusion, very simply, and, and here's kind of the formula to just follow. Say in conclusion, and then just address your counter argument, your argument again. That's it. Really, you're restating the thesis. I want to see if you can do this. All right. And just you know, let me know if you have any final thoughts. Um, you can add that as well if you want to. Um, but I want to see if you can do this. Does that make sense? Just just begin your conclusion paragraph with in conclusion and then kind of finish that off.
You could, you could, you could end. Okay. Okay. I want you to read that. Let's hear it. Being inclusion, our choices are not as free as many think so. We still live in a reality where you have to make the responsibilities for the greater good. We have to listen and do the demands the law tells us to do, even if we really do not wish to do so. Our choices are very limited, but for a great cost. What do you mean, but for a great cost? Like, I think like if, if we, basically if we had unlimited choice, yeah, I think that would suck. <laughs> if we had unlimited choice? Yeah. I'm not sure, like, I just, if, if you want to develop that, you could develop that more, but I feel like we're heading into a sort of a different top, like a diff, just something you haven't fully explained yet. And in the conclusion, you just kind of want to restate what you've already said. So I, I would end it with our choices are very... Ooh, oh, oh, did not mean to do that. Our choices are very limited. I just end it there. And then here also, I want to say, inclusion our choices are not as free as many think. And just end it there. Ooh, as many think. And then I'm going to make this a new sentence here, too. Um, we still live in a reality where you have to make the responsibilities. Maybe take care of? Responsibilities for the greater good. A couple small changes, but nothing big. You've got your essay. I want to do a quick word check. I'm guessing this is close to 300. Do you know how to do a word check in Google Docs? Uh, I th there's word count. Booyah, got it. Word count, but I don't know if it's going to count. I got it. 393. Perfect. Uh, Perfect. 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 How do you feel about the essay? Um, yeah, I'm, I'm fine. Okay, you got this, man. You got this. But again, you see the real work is in understanding the prompt and organizing your thoughts. Right. That's the real work. And if you do that, just plug it all into the formula I gave you. If you don't follow it perfectly, that's okay. I recommend that at least those four paragraphs. If you think it should be worded a little bit different kind of as you go along, do it however the heck you want to do it. The important thing is the ideas. That's the most important thing. And if you understand the prompt and you address it in your, your organization, you're going to be good. Okay. You got any questions, Francisco? Uh, no. Okay. All right. Well, let's wrap it up there. I'll address another prompt um, later in the, the next part of the course here, but, uh, but we'll call it a day for you for right now.